Lawrence of Arabia. I think we've all seen the 1962 film starring Peter O'Toole as the titular character, and it's probably a safe bet that many of us believe in the myth of the man himself, that he was bigger than life and was known to all across the world. Yet that really couldn't be further from the truth, at least not during the war anyway. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Battlefield History. I'm Christopher, the video game historian here with the Battlefield Nations, and for this episode, I'm digging deep into the Arabian Desert to bring you the real history of T.E. Lawrence. Born August 16, 1888 in Tremadoc, Wales, T.E. Lawrence was the illegitimate son of Sarah Lawrence and Sir Thomas Chapman, and was the second of five children of the couple. Even at a young age, he showed great intelligence as he was reading newspapers and books at the age of four. In 1896, at the age of eight, he began to attend the city of Oxford High School for boys until his graduation in 1907. After graduating, he would attend the Jesus College Oxford where he studied history and archaeology. Two years later, he began a walking tour of Syria, Palestine, and Turkey as part of his thesis entitled The Influence of the Crusades on European Military Architecture to the End of the 12th Century. By the time the summer was over, Lawrence had traveled over 11,000 miles visiting 36 Crusader castles. After receiving his degree in 1910, the Magdalen College offered him a research fellowship. It was during this second expedition to the Middle East that Lawrence began studying and learning the rich culture and customs of the Arabs, and growing a deep affinity for it. By the time the war broke out in 1914, he was under the employ of the British military as an Arabian expert for the British intelligence. One of his first missions was an archaeological expedition to the Negev Desert in the Sinai Peninsula, where he was gaining reconnaissance on the Turks. In 1916, he would join up with the Arabian Sheikh Faisal al Hussein to help with the Arab Revolt by leading men behind enemy lines despite zero combat experience in the field. One of his first acts under Hussein was launching a full scale revolt of the Arab tribes which would help make him an influential figure among them. As the British were launching an invasion of Palestine and Syria, he and his Arabian forces went out and distracted the Ottomans in the desert. He would undermine the Turks so much that they placed a bounty on his head despite not exactly knowing what he looked like. After the war, Lawrence escorted the Arabian delegates to the Paris Peace Conference in 1919 and later on that year, his exploits in the Middle East became publicly known to the world. An American journalist by the name of Lyle Thomas presented Lawrence's exploits in a presentation that captivated the American public, which turned T.E. Lawrence into a celebrity overnight. It was due to his experience in the Middle East during the war that earned him the position of advisor to Winston Churchill on that region in the Colonial Office, where he served from 1921 to 22. He would leave this position, however, due to becoming disgusted with it and went to join the Royal Air Force under the name of John Hume Ross, though would be discharged once his real identity was discovered, after which he joined the Royal Tank Corps under the name Thomas Edward Shaw, where he served until his death in 1935. In May of that year, Lawrence was involved in a motorcycle accident that left him hospitalized. He had tried avoiding two boys on bicycles as he was out riding one afternoon. Unfortunately, despite hospital treatment, he would succumb to his injuries only a few days later, where he died at the age of 47. In his lifetime, Lawrence had published three major works of text, one being his Seven Pillars of Wisdom, and the other two being translations of Homer's Odyssey and The Forest Giant. That's all for this week's episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed it, and if so, please leave a like, subscribe to the Battlefield Nation's YouTube channel, and leave your comments down below. Also, don't forget to check us out on the other social media platforms like Facebook and Twitter, or even join us in our Discord server to say hello. I'm the Video Game Historian, and until next time, I will see you on the Battlefield.